Hi there, my name is Chris Boutel and this is my first video. Any likes, subscriptions, video shares would be greatly appreciated. I'm here to talk Tennessee Titans, but down the road I would love to talk about all 32 teams. I'm a big football fan, huge football fan, huge Titans fan, uh, so I'd like to talk all football all year round and eventually have uh, people on that are, that are fans of other teams and get their insights and their opinions. I want your insights and your opinions. If you have anything you'd like to say, please comment down below and I'll try and answer your questions. I'm also a Bleacher Report community captain. My handle is tightenup underscore 716. And I just uh, posted my first video on there today. It was a little over two minutes. And it's about the same topic as uh, I am about to get into now. And that is Tennessee Titans being rumored to trade up in this year's draft uh, to the number three pick. Now, the number three pick right now is currently owned by the Arizona Cardinals. Now, we have a connection with the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, their new general manager is Monty Ossenfort. Monty Ossenfort was the Tennessee Titans director of player personnel for the past three seasons until he took the Arizona job this offseason. There's a connection there. Now, the mock drafts have us selecting, if we do this, have us selecting Anthony Richardson. There's a connection there as well. Rand Carthon, Tennessee's new general manager, his alma mater is Florida. Anthony Richardson played last year college for Florida. So there's a connection there as well. Now, where there's smoke, in my opinion, there's usually fire. Uh, I can see this happening. Uh, I think we've been doing our due diligence in quarterback uh, scouting this year. Uh, we've, been, we've attended all five pro days of the top five quarterbacks, and that would be Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson, Will Levis, and then Hedden Hooker. Uh, I don't see CJ Stroud or uh, Bryce Young falling to three. I think it goes uh, Stroud and then Young. You know, it could also go Young and then Stroud. But, hey, things have happened in in uh, all NFL drafts, right? There's a surprise every year. Somebody falls every year. Somebody is drafted way before we think they should be. So, you know, I, I wouldn't count that out. I just think it's highly unlikely that, you know, Stroud or Young fall to number three. Now, if they do, that's great. I'm a big CJ Stroud fan, so I would love for him to fall to three because I do think Houston wants Bryce Young. Uh, I do think if we trade up for the number three pick, though, we are going to swap first-round picks. We're going to give up our 2024 and 2025 first-round picks as well, and then most likely a mid-round pick this year or next year's draft. That's kind of the same thing that the Niners gave up when they traded up for Trey Lance a few years ago, so it's kind of nice to go around the same guy line there. Uh, Nice to have the, the price in mind that will cost us to do that trade. Now, everybody is viewing Anthony Richardson as a project quarterback. I don't think we give up that much draft capital for a project quarterback. I think if this happens, he starts this year. I think if, it, if this happens, we also trade Ryan Tannehill on draft night. I also think if this happens, none of this happens until draft night. We're not going to make a trade Right now, for the number three pick, when we don't know who's going to be there, we're going to sit tight. We have Ryan Tannehill right now. He's going to start. That's the plan for right now. That's what they've said. That's what they told us. Ryan Tannehill is our starting quarterback right now. Now, draft night comes around. Let's just say Stroud or somebody falls. It's not. I don't think it'll happen, but if they do, we move up to number three pick. Or if we, we're rumored to like Richardson, too. So if Anthony Richardson falls to, or not falls, but is this goes number three, or is there at number three? We trade up, and we select them. Now, like I said, if that happens, I think Tannehill will also gets traded on draft night, or he gets outright cut, which I hope not, because I'd like to get something for him uh, after the, uh, the June 1st date so we get more cap savings for him. And then Malik Willis will be our um, backup quarterback. Like I said, I don't see us giving up that much just for Richardson to be a project quarterback. We have one already in Malik Willis. We're not going to do it again. Uh Rand Carthon's new GM, he's going to want his own guy, he's going to want to build his own offense, you know, and then that's the other thing too, is if we have Malik Willis as a backup to Anthony Richardson, we could run the same offense. If you have Tannehill and Richardson, two different offenses, you're not going to be running the same thing, but you have a great backup in Malik, and, you know, that's, that's good. I shouldn't say great backup, he didn't really do that well last year, did he? But, you know, hopefully he makes some jumps this offseason and can be a capable backup. I'm not sure if he'll be a starter, so capable backup, maybe. I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. Do we trade up for the third pick? Do we not trade up for the third pick? If we do trade up, do you want Anthony Richardson? Do you want a guy like Will Levis? I don't want Will Levis. 
Uh, Hedden Hooker is a little too old, in my opinion. Uh, by the time his rookie contract's over, even if you pick up the fifth-year option, if he was selected in the first, you get the fifth-year option. But if you even do get that, he's going to be 30 years old. You know, that's too old. You know, you want to pick up a fifth-year option when the guy's 25 or 26. So I don't see that happening either. I think it's uh, Anthony Richardson, CJ Stroud, or Bryce Young. One of the guys we end up getting with the odds being Anthony Richardson if we were to trade up. Uh, and I wouldn't hate this. Uh, if the Tennessee Titans feel that this is the guy, I'm all for it. It's been a long time since we've had a franchise quarterback. Rest in peace, Steve McNair. Uh, Tannehill's been serviceable. Uh, but I'll never forget the three interceptions he threw in Cincinnati playoff game where that was our year. That we Nine sacks we had as a defense, and we lost that game. We lost that game because one guy threw three picks. And if you can't tell, I'm still not over that. He's been good. He's took, he took us out of the, the years um, that we were in turmoil. And, and I appreciate that. But, you know, he's capped out. He's reached his max potential. Uh, it's time for an upgrade. But like I said earlier, I want to know your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think? Uh, do you want us to trade up for number three pick? Uh, if, if you do, do you want Anthony Richardson? Do you, or do you want somebody else? Would you rather take a defensive player? Uh, let me know what you think and uh, comment down below. Thanks, guys. Talk soon.